talking. So let's talk again and you know do some real talk about any topic. And you know, uh, someone asked me to uh, cover the topic uh, how I travel solo. No, because sometimes some people are really thinking, and you know, it's for them it's unimaginable that a 59 year old like me would be traveling solo and I've been traveling solo for quite some time um, I've traveled in the Philippines uh, for so many times and in so many occasions that I travel solo <laughs> Uh, I have been to El Nido uh, and traveled solo there for how many times? Koran, uh, Koran as well, and uh, Boracay so so many times, and uh, Davao, and um, I even uh, had a trip to Surigao, uh, Davao to Surigao, and then um, Asgusan del Sur and back to Davao again solo, and uh, I even went to the mountain for the Tin uh, Tinuyan Falls, and in the river to the Enchanted river alone also and then I traveled alone in Iloilo for so many times and then I even went to somewhere in Carles for the Gigantes group of islands and uh, that that is for local but for international yes I did <laughs> I did some brave attempts or some brave uh, journey or travels to Taiwan and um, Bali twice and then Jakarta once and then Singapore so many times Hong Kong and uh, Vietnam <laughs> and uh, of course China no? Shanghai and Beijing and I actually plan to travel alone also if if and if I don't have any companion because you know um, who wouldn't want to have a companion actually it's just that sometimes uh, people that you like to be with are not available is or not available and as such you have no choice but to travel solo so what are the what are the experiences of a solo traveler and how how am I able to travel solo so this is a spontaneous talk no? so basically um, traveling uh, solo is something that for one based on my personality I'm not afraid of primarily because I'm very strong I'm very adventurous and you know sometimes I prefer also to be alone and uh, I also I'm a very inquisitive person as well so kung mga sabi nga ng tatay ko basta kilala ko si Magta hindi hindi ako mag maliligaw Magta is magtanong <laughs> so anyway so yun um I uh, because travel starts with booking a fare and you know sometimes most of most of my travels ex except for business um, travels are actually cheap fares you know mura so kumbaga sa pabilisan na pag ano mo pag book mo eh ikaw na lang muna ibubuk mo <laughs> <laughs> At saka kasi mahirap din pag na-rebook, pag marami kang kasama sa booking. So, mas mabuti pa may sarili-sarili ka yung booking. So, that's one tip of mine. So, I book my airfare solo trip and then uh, eventually if you someone wants to join me, then that's okay. Uh, however, usually it's a solo trip and then I book it. Then after that, um, I will save for 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 that particular trip. And then uh, a few, a few uh, weeks, I will secure the visa and the uh, a few weeks I will uh, uh, of course uh, when you secure the visa then you have to have your accommodation no? so um, so far I'm okay in so far as always travel is concerned so what are the tips and how how am I how do I travel solo so um, Masyado yung spontaneous yung ano ko, no? walang, walang preparation. So, what are the tips? Number one is, uh, I would also like to share with you my, ano ha, my, my thoughts and, you know, my, my learnings, mga katangahan ko na dapat, hindi mo dapat maranasan, no? So, number one, for, for, for the Philippines, it's very, very easy because we are Filipinos anyway and we speak the language, the dialect and all that. So, madali lang. However, in abroad when you go abroad it's quite difficult primarily especially for someone who like me who over the years have that fear sometimes of immigration and you know sometimes fear of uh, new things and you know because of modernity of the other countries you feel so tanga <laughs> so yeah uh, number one is um don't uh number one is uh Research, research, research. So, 
um, you should know where you're going. I, although the itinerary is a requirement when you secure a visa, you should finalize your itinerary. So as such, so that you know what to do, what to what 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 are your plans? Because there are really varied various things to do in a particular place and you cannot have that sometimes i just travel for three four days sometimes it's only three yeah average of three days so uh sometimes it's a week also you have to know you know research and finalize your itinerary although there would leave a room also for allowances like uh when i uh, went to taiwan i was i was i didn't anticipate that i will go to tamsui you know it's a it's a it's a fisherman uh, seaport in in taiwan and then i didn't anticipate that i will go to uh yang mingxiang national park because i i uh, i was lost and then suddenly i, I shifted so something like that so you should do a research finalize your itinerary on the culture of the country the things to avoid you know um how to tra how what are the transportation and all that what is the what, what will you do and all that so all of this you should prepare and number two of course the blogs now help a lot and you know some 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 blogs even provide a detail of what the bus number that you will you will write and all that so number two is uh you should know the embassy of the philippines in the country that you are visiting because you know you never know what will happen diba? Ang hirap kasi, especially if you're alone and you know um you should always know where the embassy is number three is uh keep a copy of your passport in your luggage and uh and safeguard your passport with all your heart <laughs> so what i do because i i do really have a lot of stuff whenever i travel i have not practiced the the traveling light uh concept yet so what i do is i have a body bag or a belt bag you know i have a body bag where i place there my cash where i place there my passport because i always have that guiding uh, mantra or principle that whenever I'm out of the country then I should bring my passport because someone would just ask me who am I right so um, I always bring that with me and um, as well uh, should something happen knock knock at least I have a copy on my luggage I have I have a copy on my cell phone and all that and my email and everything so I have a copy of that uh, of those data so another is um, in the immigration when you because it, there is a recurrence now or a frequency of offloading or of loading is yung hindi ka payaga ng um ng immigration na umalis ng bansa so um ano uh, what i do is i i prepare a list of requirements i have a checklist of requirements that i need to present to the immigration officer should she ask he or she ask where am i going what will i do and all that so almost always naman di ba ako natatanong <laughs> but anyway um i still i I'm, i i keep a copy of that and then um another is um you should provide an ample amount of allowance no um i learned my lesson when i went to cambodia where in I already I only brought around I think two hundred dollars because I was thinking that you know I paid already for the airfare, I paid already for the accommodation and all that. So what would do I need the money for, right? So it's just that the the two hundred or the three hundred is not enough. <laughs> I was with actually I'm not traveling so at the time pala I was with my classmate but still and all having learned from that particular incident I learned that I should bring cash uh, uh, to the country where I'm going to especially me who doesn't have a credit card so I make sure that I have an extra cash uh, to to you know for for any eventuality you know and everything so um, that's why although I, I prefer to travel very very budget wise or budgetarian still and all I I'm ready in the event that you know I need to check into a more expensive hotel and all that so yon another is um uh be aware of scams no kasi maraming scam as in sa Shanghai merong tea scam sa Vietnam merong taxi scam kasi sa Vietnam ano million million ba ang pera minsan nalilito ako <laughs> sa Bali meron din daw although I haven't experienced it is the parang exchange rate scam or something so maraming scam so in short wag niyo na yung i-judge ang Pilipino kasi marami ring mga iba namang bansa na ganun so ang gagawin mo na lang is to take care and you know be cautious and you know protect your yourself and avoid those situations no? another is um yeah be friendly with other tourists uh in fact i have so many friends that i met in the in my traveling of solo but be also cautious for other people that probably would have 
and another interest in you another vested interest in you so um like me i'm a lady and you know um i tend to be you know bubbly and all that so i don't want them to have an impression that you know i am have i'm going there for for an agenda or something i'm just there to really um do my vacation so um especially like for example another tip is uh if you're going to a remote place like el nido um we were in it's only it's a six hour or four six five hours trip to puerto princesa you don't want to be caught in a place wherein you will be sick right so in that case i also avoid uh food that i probably might have some weaknesses like for example um sashimi you know sushi and all that ina avoid ko yan kasi hindi mo malam kung ano mangyayari di ba yung mga tubig na hindi mineral and all that so ina avoid ko yan so i make sure that you know i i i protect myself uh whenever i go solo and then um another is bring keys you know and uh, locks on your locker because sometimes <clears throat> sometimes uh there are there are okay that I nagtitipid ako so I travel and I stay in hostel and you know in spin designer for example in Palawan we are what four in a room and co-ed pa nga yun eh so in short uh, hindi mo alam kung sino maging kasama mo so you better protect yourself but luckily I'm 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 okay naman uh, my companions usually are professional so yun um, another is the medicines especially if you're going to the other countries uh, I suggest that you bring your medicines the maintenance medicine all that kasi it's not easy to in some countries they're very strict in so far as prescription is concerned so you cannot readily buy an antibiotic there or, or even a simple analgesic, you cannot readily buy that. So, um, and sometimes it's not even available. So, ano sa sabihin mo don? Pamilya pong biogenic. <laughs> so it's not really the available. And sometimes the character, the the the, the ano is written in Chinese, and you know, so you cannot really decipher or understand. So, yon. Um, so yun yung mga ano tips ko. And uh, ako, whenever I go to another country, even if I'm solo or what, I don't eat uh, low food from here because when i don't eat jollibee there jollibee branch and all that no i don't it's just sometimes lang napipilitan lang pero usually hindi ang ginagawa ko kung ano yung pagkain sa bangkok yun ang kakainin ko yung ano yung pagkain sa sa ano sa sa taiwan yun ang kakainin ko kaya nagsawa ako ng milk di doon <laughs> so yun and suggest also that uh, allow avail of free tours kasi libre naman siya and professional run naman siya and um, also i suggest you go you oh yeah, let also a budget for some extra 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 than na medyo high end na tour like for example when i went to taipei i went to taipei 101 some don't go there because there is a certain budget about a thousand yata and then um when i went to Shanghai I went to Shanghai Tower because it's the second highest tower in the world next to Burj Khalifa so uh, I want to experience that you know because uh, from the distance ang ganda ang laki sabi ko nga so talagang talagang tinawid ko yon para na ako makarating doon so yon um yeah you will meet new friends and the, the other advantage without sounding that i really i'm really a hater of uh, group tours no is that controlado mong oras like ako i always make sure that as soon as the sun rises i'm up already i'm already there all made up and all that ready with all my ootds and all that so eh pag may kasama ka eh iintayin mo <laughs> Tapos, uh, hindi rin kasi ako maarte. So, kumbaga, pagdating doon, uh, wala. Kailangan uh, live with the locals. Huwag kang masyadong maarte. Kasi uh, baka ma maiba yung tingin sa'yo. Baka nga alaman nila. Kala nila mayaman ka, di ba? Or maiba, ma ma ano sila, parang ang lakas naman ang arrival to. Parang <laughs> So yun, um, another is, uh, kumbaga you embrace the culture and you make friends with people and you know, like when I travel to, uh, tam, uh, I think, Tinoa and Falls, imagine, um, I, uh, ang, ang situation kasi dun is, from this league, you have to travel by, uh, ano lang, uh, bu, ano, maliit lang kasi yung daan, yung, pero kasya naman yung van, kaya lang mahal kasi solo nga ako, nakasakay ka lang sa motor, yung motor boat, ay motor boat, motor, motor, uh, na ano, motorcycle. 
And then, akit ka doon. Eh, ngayon, yung mga nagmamanage ng mismong falls, eh, mga manobo. So, kumbaga, mga, mga ano, minority. So, in short, there's a certain point na you have to stop and ride on their, ano, ang tawag doon ay, oh my gosh, I forgot the, ano, basta isang tricycle, ano siya, motor, motor, tapos meron dalawa dito, slab, or skylab, or something, yun ang tawag. So, eh, kung sa iba-iba lang, matatakot ka, di ba? Pero kaya lang, objective ko, makita ko talaga yung false, eh. So, hindi ako natakot. And you know what? As a pleasant surprise, these manobos, they're very kind people. You know, they are not someone to be afraid of. You know, it's a, they're really very, very good. And, um, don't be afraid. Conquer your fears and all that. Um, like when I went to San Agustin, Surigao del Sur, because I'm, because I have to be back to Davao at five o'clock. So you can just imagine my my rush that I should finish the the tour. So I I rented a, the whole boat, and you know I'm what I'm with uh, uh, I think three boatmen, and you know they 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 even acted as my photographers and all that. So believe in the kindness of people as well. However, you pray also for protection and discernment. No, kasi hindi mo rin naman alam ba lalo na sa abroad my gosh in China it's, it's really a challenging one for me but I don't naman regret doing that it's just that kulang ako sa research but I really love my stay especially in Shanghai oh my gosh and of course in Beijing is the fact that I was able to go to the Great Wall of China and experience the snow so marami kang matututunan sa pag-travel lang solo kasi uh, yun nga lang no one is behind your back no one takes pictures of you so you should know how to use clicker and also uh, use tripods no? kasi uh, wala eh <laughs> Mag-isa ka lang daw na yun, di ba? So, yun. Um, pero hindi. Ang isa pang advantage nun is katulad ko, ang dami ko talagang katangahan. As in, well, diba? Kasi hindi nga ako nagre-research. And sometimes, I'm too trusting on people also, no? Kasi, nabawa, uh, ito po malapit sa ganyan. Ganyan. So, ako naman sumusunod. Eh, hindi pwedeng ganun. Kailangan reliable yung source mo. Ang dami kong katangahan. As in, sa Bangkok, na-overwhelm ako dun. Ang laki-laki nung, nung ano. Tapos, naakala ko, kasya na yung pera ko. Tapos, nung hindi lumayan, alabas yung luggage ko, parang nagpanik na ako, yung mga ganun, so uh, you control your emotions also because there's no point being, uh, you know stressful and being uh, you should relax, come on, enjoy <laughs> so, yun um, also, uh, if if you are caught in a scam or you'll be fooled just shrug your shoulders, okay lang it's part of your being human, nagkakamali ka, so, um, just be happy, you know, so, yun ano po bang masasabi ko sa traveling solo um, yun lang, um, uh, you have you control your time uh, however walang kumukuha ng picture mo <laughs> wala kang kakwentuhan along the ano especially if the if the journey is to is far like the travel from um from Shanghai to Beijing is around 7 hours so in a in a very fast train so wala kang kakwentuhan so yun, at saka yun nga, walang nagbabantay ng gamit mo, walang, wala kang, no one is behind you. Tapos yung pagkain mo, kailangang ubusin mo kasi, ano, hindi matipid sa food, no? So yun, those are my tips in traveling solo. But as I, well, as, as I said, if I could do it, you can do it more. Kasi, uh, masaya, masaya siya. But just have to manage risk. Like, another pala na nakalimutan ko is because I'm a lady, so I don't usually go out at night, no? Basically, uh, I tire myself the whole day, 5 o'clock, alis na ako, or 5.30, go to church sometimes and all that. And then, immediately hanggang 5.30 or 6 o'clock, 7 the most, nakakain ako niya ng dinner, tapos nasa hotel na ako. Kasi, uh, nakakatakot pag mag-isa ka. <laughs> especially in a foreign country um, sometimes lang I want to see the the, ano, the the nightscape no so yun minsan I did that I think in Jakarta but I was with my office mates but other than that hindi mo ako mapapalabas ng gabi kasi nga I'm traveling solo so kung siguro may kasama ko di magdi dinner dinner kayo or you know uh, explore the nightlife ay wala nga eh so um that's why um those are the actually the disadvantages as well so that is everyone i hope that you learned from my blog <laughs> of uh, how to travel solo uh, just enjoy life you know life is e life is really beautiful and it always brings you surprises of good people nice places good culture and you know the world is so beautiful. You just have to pray also for protection. God bless and stay happy, stay in love, stay friendly, do a kind deed every day. God bless you every day. God bless and thank you for your friendship and love.